Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. Today I'm going to show you how to make a quick shaker in Design Space. So, um, before we get started though, if you haven't subscribed, please do. I appreciate it. I'm going to show you on my website. So, if you go to theuselesscrafter.com, there is a section where you can shop and I have some SVG files. So, you can go here and click on SVG files. And the one that we're using today is this party shaker. What it comes with is it comes with this outline, the SVG file for the outline, the hearts, and this, um, this top layer, this pink, to sit over your dome so that it covers all your imperfections. It also comes with, and, oh, it doesn't say on here, or it doesn't show the picture, but it comes with five additional phrases so that you congrats happy birthday oh baby party time and cheers so in case you wanted to do that because here i'm going to show you how to make it with the name but um you can add other phrases in there too so all right so let's get started you can hear you can purchase it here and then what you would do is you would download it and then upload it into design space so i'm going to go into design space and oops hold on sorry <laughs> let me close out of this so it doesn't slow us down at all all right so here is design space and let me go into images and I'm going to show you, oops, not images, upload. I'm going to show you what that file looks like when you bring it in. And you also, I, I don't know, I always think this is fun because you get to see what I've been importing or uploading. So um, you can see if it's, if it's exciting and you want to see a project. So these are things that I make on my own. These are projects for tutorials. It's all in here. So, okay, this is what it looks like when it comes in. So I'm gonna add this to Canvas. So when you buy it, you're gonna download this file and you're gonna upload it. And so it's always gonna be available to you. So it's, um, it comes like this and make it bigger so that you can see. So it comes with the different um, fun sayings. So there's congrats, party time, oh baby, cheers, happy birthday, so that you can put in the center of your dome. It also comes with, I'm gonna move it, oh, let me ungroup it. This is the, the piece that goes over the dome and it hides all your imperfections because we need to glue the dome to this little guy. So our little plastic dome <clears throat> is glued to here so that you can put, for instance, oops, let me put both of these in here. <clears throat> so you can put this inside the dome, you can put confetti inside the dome, and then you have your dome glue to this piece so all these little pieces will fit in here okay all right so this goes inside and you see this will sit on top of the dome to cover all our glue and then it comes with this over here let me move this over i love this okay so this these are all the colors you know i almost you know, the colors come in this way so that you can set your colors because no one's gonna want these colors. So that's part of that's part of the process so that you remember to change it and so you make it your own. This layer right here, I'm gonna zoom in so that you can see it. It's just really delicate and pretty. It's got these little spaces, the thin lines. So I like to do this layer in vinyl or in HTV. I actually prefer heat transfer vinyl, but if you don't use heat transfer vinyl and you want to use vinyl, vinyl cuts a little bit easier than cardstock. So this part right here might be too delicate for cardstock. Okay. All right. Let me zoom back out. So you have this and then you have two more layers behind it just to give yourself the layers and to make it look, you know, um, like it's got a lot of details. So there you have it. What you might want to do though, is you have your shaker here, right? This is gonna go in here. If you want, and I'm sorry, let me, I thought I just turned it off, okay. Um, it will sit kind of like this with the dome on top. And I have an example, so give me just one second. It will look like this right and so you can kind of hear it it's a lot of fun but what i also like is having this back so let me show you how to make that back okay so what you would do is you would take your final back layer here and you would duplicate it and you would contour and just click hide all so this gives you the full background 
so that everything can sit on top of. And I do like that. Not everyone likes it. So that's why I didn't add it in there and I didn't want to make it complicated. But that's all you have to do. So this is your back back most, right? This is the back most piece. Then you're going to have um, your layers. So this layer is going to, let me move this to the back. You're going to have this layer. You're going to have this layer. You're going to have this layer. <laughs> You're going to have whatever you want inside. Well, you're going to have your, your background, your dome. This is going to go here. Whatever you put inside your dome. On top of your confetti and whatever. Your dome is going to sit on top with the glue. And then this sits on top of your dome. So that it hides all the glue. Okay? It's this little piece right here. Hopefully you can see that. Okay. So now that we have all the pieces and you understand how it works, let me show you what I did. So I'm going to get rid of all the extras that we didn't use. And I actually didn't use any of those words. I It was a unicorn birthday party. And so I actually had um, a little like ceramic piece of unicorn. So I, you know, put that in the middle and put confetti and then did the dome. But what else I did, which I absolutely love is this. I had her name layered. So this is my top layer. And let me move this back. And I'm going to show you how to do all of it, but I want to show you all the pieces so that you know what's going on. So I did these layers right here. And it looked so pretty. I absolutely loved it. It was delicate. I have the Kim one right here. So you can see it just looks super cute on a birthday present. All right. So let's get started. Now that we've got all the details down so we can do this. Um, I'm actually going to get rid of all of this so that we don't have all this in our... Go back to 100. Okay. So here are all our layers, right? So for this, what I would do is I would just start arranging it in the colors that you want. Okay. So this is my... Um... Now, the other thing is the file comes in with the offset. If you want a thinner offset or you want a thicker offset, everything is sized accordingly. So you're good. Okay. So what I mean by that is this is sized for that dome that is linked in the description. Okay. So what you want to do is if you go to offset, I'm going to do on this one, I did a very, very thin offset. I did 0 0.05. Okay. I'm going to hit apply. So there's my first layer. Uh, and then, so I'm going to get rid of this. Okay. So you can make any offset that you want to. This is a lot thinner than what it came in with, okay? So now on this one, I'm gonna do another offset. Same 0.05, okay? And this time I'm gonna make that one, um, let's do it, what color did I do? Maybe purple, okay? And then this black layer was white, okay? Then this is, I did gold HTV, so you can see it goes like this. Okay, this is fine as, you know, whatever color this goes on top. So that's really, when you buy the SVG file, it's, it's sort of ready to go, right? You just need to assign the colors that you want to do. So now if you remember though, what's not here is a full background, right? So I'm going to take this one, my, my most back layer, duplicate it and hit contour, hide all. And that's going to give me the full back that everything is layered on top of. You actually shouldn't be able to see this layer at all because if you look, let me send this to the back, arrange, send to the back. You, we have this layer sitting on top, right? So it's, it's not going to extend past that layer. And then we have this one sitting on top of that. And then we've got this sitting on top of that. And then you have your dome. So you should not be able to see that back layer. That back layer is purely for functionality, to give you stability and to make it easy for you to layer everything on top, okay? All right, so now that we have that, we're gonna put the unicorn here, or you can put a name. You can even put Riley in there if you wanted to, okay? Um, you would just need to size it properly. So let me, um, let me do this. 
we will do the name just so that you can see it. This is a horrible font for this because look how thin it is and we gotta make sure that it's less than three inches. So I don't recommend using this font for this, okay? I'm gonna duplicate it and then I'm gonna make it small. This will be so tiny. Like I said, I do not recommend it, okay? But you could do something like this. And that's partially why I designed those five phrases to begin with, because I picked things that I thought would be general enough that would work for a birthday present, or you know, a wrapped gift, or you're just doing it for a party, party prop, for a photo prop, um, that those words are easily legible in that size, and that you're not gonna lose any pieces. So hopefully you enjoy the SVG, SVG file as much as I did creating it. Okay, now let's go and make these fun little things to add to the bobble so that you can um, have it you know, strung on and dangling down, however you wanna do it. So um, we're gonna go into text. And this text is from Creative Fabrica. It's, I mean, I that's where I go for all my fonts these days. It's called Marie. It's part of Ashley Marie. Ashley Marie comes with, uh, I think, three different options, and this is one of them, which I love. So here's text, right? So you're just going to backspace and then type in Riley. And I went with the capital R because let me show you what lowercase r looks like. I didn't like the way that looked, right? So I'm gonna change this to capital R and look at how cute that is. I just love, love this font. So, okay, as I was saying, from Creative Fabrica, um, right now it's on sale. I wanna say it's only $1.50. The link will be in my, you know, in the description. But for a dollar, you can try out Creative Fabrica for a whole month and decide whether or not you like it. So, um, Use my link for that as well and type in the Useless Crafter 30. That will give you 30% off. Not on this, but it's on a membership. So if you choose to keep your font membership, then it will take off 30% every month. So you need to do it all at the beginning. So um, you could be like me. I have their uh, their most expensive package. I think it's $30 a month and then 30% off. So it's $20 a month. And um, all my fonts and all my images come with commercial use. So I like not having to keep track of that stuff. So that's why I do it. Okay, so here's Riley. What you wanna do is you wanna weld it because you want all the pieces to be connected together, right? And then you're gonna do the offset. So same thing, 0.05. I did the same thing with this, you know? I actually, I did gold HTV. Oh no, I did gold, gold paper. So actually, uh, where is it? This, this was gold. This is white. And then I'm gonna do another offset on the white. And that one is going to be, I did purple. And this is how it came out. So this is Kim. I just absolutely adore this little guy. You're gonna see this a lot more. And that's all there is to it. So, oh no, there isn't. Okay, so here's the deal. You may see this one and it has a little hole. What's funny is I went and I added the little hole so that we could string something through. But when it came time to hang it on my present, it actually didn't work. Like I didn't like the way it looks. So I ended up trimming off this thing and just going with the name. And then I glued it onto the ribbon, which I just love the way it looked. But I wanna show you how to do the hole in case you wanna do tags, okay? So here is Riley. All these are good, right? This is the layer, it's the backmost layer that I wanna add the circle to. So let's go to shapes, add a circle, and I'm gonna make this half an inch, 0 0.50, okay? And I'm gonna pull it down here to make sure it looks about right, and that looks good. Okay, I want to duplicate that circle, and this one I'm gonna make 0.25, okay? And then I'm gonna grab the two circles and go to align, and I'm gonna center it so that I can slice it now so that I can get my little hole like a gift tag, right? So here's my little gift tag and I'm gonna attach it to my R somewhere, either there or here, it depends on like where, aesthetically what you like, okay? Now the thing that I learned is, you know, this gets a little bit thin, so I like it like right here, cause that's gonna make sure that this doesn't rip apart. 
but you know if you do it something I originally did it like this that's okay too I ended up just putting um, using my hot glue gun to make it more stiff because it's layered right so no one will see it um, and that's what I did but you could do something like this okay so you're gonna grab these two and you're going to weld it and there's your little hole now okay so on this one I ended up doing three layers so I'm gonna duplicate it twice so I have three layers so that it's thicker okay and then I have my white layer sitting on top and then my gold layer sitting on top of the white and that is all there is to it and it just looks so pretty if you want to see the pictures you can go to my Instagram or you can go to my website when the blog is up for this project um, you'll see all the pictures and um, all the details all right I hope that was helpful and thank you for purchasing the SVG file I hope that was helpful in creating your projects and then now you get an idea so that you can create new ones so all right thank you so much I'll talk to you later